What's going on, good people out there in Utubia land? Uh, this is your main man, the Bad Wolf. So what is this video about? I'm glad you asked. Uh, we are going to be talking about the death of the straw man. Dun, dun, dun. All right. So if you've watched my other videos, then you already should know this information. However, if you haven't watched my other videos, I do suggest that you watch all of them first. So that you can understand what's going on. Otherwise, you may not understand the full context of this. So the straw man is a legal entity. When they use the all capitalized letters, which is topography, okay, or the style, styles format, um, it's located in the styles format manual that speaks of all capitalized letters being an official thing, okay? So the straw man was never alive, all right? It's a dead entity. Because those are the best documents available, we utilize them. But in actuality, we're supposed to be creating our own. The government does not provide an official birth certificate record whatsoever. However, if you're born abroad, they will provide you with a born abroad dec uh, document. But Wolf, what about the states? The states are doing their own thing. They are, in fact, in what's known as a PMA, a private members association. It's so large that it is called the public. So they administer over the public, not the private. They have no jurisdiction whatsoever over a private person, private property, anything private, unless you register it or you give it to them. You sign a contract or an agreement. So in this video, what I'm suggesting might sound crazy to the average person. Now. Let me put it in a way that you can explain or you can understand it. If you go right now and you get a business name from the state or the government or whoever, whatever, it will always come in all capitalized format to represent that entity. You have created an entity. Okay. Some cases people would consider it to be also a legal person because it has similar rights and responsibilities, ins and outs, duties whatever, as a living, real, natural person, whether public or private. So when you, when the state gave you the birth certificate, they created this entity. You then went on to um, operate this entity as if it was really you. So though you are the authorized agent, if you will, in some cases people say you are the surety for it, you are the caretaker, the trustee, okay? But in actuality, when they give you the birth certificate document, you're actually really the beneficiary of it. And you've been kind of putting things into it. So they put us in a position where we're in a co-trustee, co-beneficiary, and you must know which role you're playing because when you're using their stuff, you're using their rules, okay? So there are times when they will switch those hats or you might switch those hats on yourself and not even realize it. I always like to look at things that I'm always in the beneficiary position. Now, the death of the straw man. So when they birthed as in a ship or a vessel being birthed, it was created, but that doesn't mean it's alive. That particular legal entity is not alive. Now, when you pass away, they issue a death certificate letting you know that you have taken the straw man with you, but it was already dead. It was never alive. You were alive, and then you became deceased. Okay. Usually what then happens is, you know, there's some probation or probate, um, you know, the will, if you have it, et cetera, et cetera. So, one of the thoughts is that depending on how you are already moving and people have already done this is they've declared that the straw man is dead. That person is no longer living. 
okay, which is something that I tell the various agencies, that entity is dead. Okay. And it dawned on me if you're going to now, obviously, you're not trying to declare, though there's no law in the United States that says that you cannot fake or allow yourself to be considered dead. There's no law against it. Unless you are profiting from that, then there are laws against that. So you cannot claim yourself dead and then collect your own uh, insurance. Okay, you cannot profit from the death. You can still generate profit, income, proceeds, compensation, because here's what's on the table. You can create your own death document. An affidavit of death of your all capitalized name. Then you can go. No, let me and let me say this correctly. Let me back up. In order to become executor over everything that is yours, a lot of people will do things such as a UCC one. Okay, a UCC one. You're putting a lien against your straw person. When you do this, you're making sure that nobody else can touch your stuff without paying or compensating you for however much you say your stuff is worth, all of it, blood, sweat, tears, because they're going to consider your physical body to be that straw man so you can put a lien against all those things, your books, materials, bank accounts, et cetera, et cetera. Some people to take control over the straw man will um, do a common law copyright. Some will do a commercial one, such as a trademark or whatever else on their name, these are also additional ways to control it. Some people will go as far as to do a um, power of attorney using their given name, okay, against their uh, straw man in all caps. It's another way of controlling it. One of the other ways to do it is to go to the IRS and file for an estate number, making you the executor over everything that's in the straw man's name. Okay, this is another way of ownership or a type of, I should say, more control. I guess they kind of blend in there. Um, because at that point in time, I guess you really do own it because everything that's within it now is considered to be an estate and you are the controller of the state. So you're controlling it, yet you kind of own it at the same time. So now Anybody wanting to use the name, anybody trying to come after that entity or whatever else, you are the person who gets to say what they can and cannot do with it. Because before that, that or this point in time, you were just operating it as a trustee. Remember, they switch things with you. That's why, um, you know, they'll they'll look at it as, well, this person was the trustee, and you know, we're, we're, we're going to probate it for them. Okay. So when you get an estate number, they give you a, a number four that can, that is used to control the estate. You can still utilize the straw man stuff, but now you are the one controlling it. You, cause it can still generate, like I said, you know, funds, proceeds, et cetera, et cetera. So one of the things that dawned on me is that because we have the ability to do, I'm not going to say whatever you want, but within reason. So one of the things you can do is create your own death document, okay? Affidavit of death. Now, when you create this, you're going to tell them essentially your truth, okay? So much like an affidavit that goes unrebutted by their acquiescence, it has become fact. They, they're not challenging. They're not trying to fight it. Now, you can put, now, if you're going to do this correctly, how I, as educational information only, would look at it or do it is that I, hold on, let's fix the camera. Okay. I would put your name in all capitalized letters on there. Uh, I would say, you know, if, it, and you can be as detailed as, or as much or as little as you choose. But the hospital, you know, where the, well, actually, if you want to be truthful, you could put down the all caps name and then put down the state of whatever, the address where the uh, straw man was birthed, which, which was not the hospital. 
though they did send that information to the hospital and whatnot, but it was really actually birthed in the vital statistics or the secretary of state or the county or wherever you got the birth certificate from. I'd use that address. And the address on that birth certificate, I would use as the birth date for that entity. And then I would just merely say, you know, this entity has been um, in use and I would keep it cold, just like they keep their stuff cold, you know, just the facts, copy information from the birth certificate. Do not copy the birth certificate because, well, that would be securities fraud because we all know on my video titled, how much are you worth or how much are you really worth? There's a value to it. So that's why you can't copy those things. All right. But your own documents, you can copy. So take the information from there, put it on your own. You know, I would suggest, um, you know, whatever date, today's date or whatever, you know, as the official date of it having been deceased. Then I would go get it notarized. And uh, now some people, you the states might do that. I don't know how they would respond to that. Um, they may like it. They may not like it. OK, I don't know. I haven't. This is something I haven't done. I am just this is brain work here. But what I would then do is um, I, I would probably make mention in there. Your maybe use your given name or your faith name or your whatever your trust. And I would label them as the executor over that particular um, entity. And. You know, if you want to put a, your picture on there, family crest or whatever, you know, this um, estate, the state created trust is now considered to be dead. And it is in the has been transferred to the jurisdiction of so and so trust. And these are the people who can caretake for it or will probate it and have control over all aspects of this estate. Get it notarized. Then what I would do, I mean, you could if you if you do this. It's on your own free will and accord because I'm not telling anybody this. As a matter of fact, you don't have to do any of the things I mentioned on the videos whatsoever. You choose what you want to do. And don't ask me what you should do next. Watch the videos and decide if that's something you want to do because you're grown or you should be grown. If you're not grown, then you probably shouldn't be watching this because we do adult stuff here. No, I'm just kidding. We don't. But we do talk about adult things. Um, so I personally, but if you, hold on, if, if you do, Hey, let me know how they respond, what they send to you. They may like it. They may not like it. So I'm not taking any responsibilities for it. I'm just saying if you have done this or you're going to do it, hey, let me know. Uh, but what I would do next would be to send it to the Department of State um, and get it apostilled, which is the opposite of authenticate. So I would be bringing that document as fact into their jurisdiction. Now you've got that document, you've got the um, um you got, okay, so you got that document. Oh, and you got the estate number. So now, as far as I can see, you have master control over that estate. And now you can operate that as a deceased entity. But remember, if you're going to do that, the entity, you can still use its things and things that are currently there because you have the control over it. You've taken control and ownership of that vessel, you know? So move as you best see fit if you need to utilize that, or you want to protect your living self by separating it. This is another way of doing that, okay? So that's about it, guys. That's how I would look at it, is that if you choose to, you can create your own documents as always and bring them in or out of their jurisdiction. In this case, is something that I would want, I personally would want them to recognize. Um, and of course, you know, um, do not abuse the information. Do not be out here using it for sinister things. Do not use this to avoid the law or bills or taxes or whatever else. Um, if you do stuff of that nature, that is on your own free will and accord. I'm not responsible for that. I'm just saying for those people, for education, informational purposes, from your favorite non-belligerent, non-combatant, uh, this is how you, these are methods in which you can use to separate your given name, living person from the debtor, public, deceased, legal person. All right. We've got more things coming. And as we get 
further down the road. So shall you guys get more information. All right. With that being said, you guys take care. Have a great day. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy the last of the summer. Uh, don't forget to support me in all the ways you guys can, because it really inspires me to keep making these videos, uh, showing you guys how to operate and get back to the private because, well, a lot of people out there don't want you to operate privately. They want to keep you that legal public person. And because I like to bring you guys things free or as cheap as possible, support me any kind of ways you can. You guys want to send a donation? Black Side 32. You guys want to see what crazy stuff I do in my private life? Well, some of it. Uh, Black Side 32. And for the love of everything good and gold and God, um, be careful when you're out there on whether it's my platform, Telegram groups or whatever else, uh, making sure that don't get scammed. Okay. Do not think I'm in your DMs asking you for money or to invest in crypto or whatever else. These are all scams from people over in India, Nigeria, and whatever else, uh, Stan, blah, blah, blah. Uh, hell, might be your neighbor next door. I don't know. But never send anybody money, period. I don't care what they're saying. They're talking you out of your cash. So don't do that. All right. So anytime you guys want to deal with anything, me, go right to the source, okay? Why would I be in your DMs? And, and not to say it like that, I'm just a guy down the block, you know, in all honesty. Um, so I would never be in your DMs asking you to do anything, all right? Just no. Um, if I'm going to say something, it's going to be in front of everybody in the group. Hey, anybody wants to invest, this is what I've invested in. I'm not going to ask you money. Why would I ask you to send me money so I can invest it for you? All I do on this show is tell you guys to not get ripped off. Don't be paying these gurus and shamans out here hundreds of thousands of dollars and whatever else for 15 minutes of their time um, and to believe in yourselves and to do it for yourself. I want to see you guys make money. I might give you some tips that I, things that I've done. I'm not going to do that. None of that. Okay. You know, matter of fact, here's what you do. If you guys really think it's me, OK, then ask me uh, to hold up a sign with your favorite number on it. Say, send me a picture with this number on there or this phrase. And watch them go away. All right. So hands down, guys, it's just, it's just not me. It's not me. I barely have time to do anything but read, take care of family, and make videos for you guys. And learn from me. It's not just for you guys. It's for me, too. I, I, love, I love learning this stuff. It's interesting. So that's it. Take care. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day. Peace.